Hey guys, Super Horror Bro Mike here, and in today's video, we are playing More Happy's Humble Burger Farm. Now, if you remember in part one of this playthrough series, we got a new job at Happy's Humble Burgers, we went there, and of course, all hell broke loose, there was all these kind of creepy monsters about. It seems like there is more to the world that we're living in, which is called New Elysian City as well. It seems like it's some kind of virtual reality, some kind of simulation that we're stuck inside. And then, of course, we eventually met P.T. the Portly Pig, but a monstrous version of him, trapped in this warehouse downtown. After we gained access to that, we destroyed him, we came back to our apartment and we found a talking head hidden behind the wall in our closet and he has this sort of special laboratory where a previous test subject was helping him try to escape. So in this episode we're going to have to find all the resources needed to try and escape, follow his plan and see where the story of Happy Tumble Burger Farm goes next. So sit back, relax and let's dive into part 2. So here we go, we're back in the apartment once again. And let me show you guys what I'm talking about in case you're not sure. See inside this room there is a hole and inside this hole is a special sort of laboratory with this talking head in it. And we're going to have to find these objects to build a uh, keypad hacker. So we need um, this glue here, we need an FM transmitter circuit board and a battery as well. I don't know what these things on the floor are. I don't think these are the FM transmitters we need. I don't know where we get that from. You can also see there's this obscure like propaganda on this board here. There's like a map. There's a before and after of the island. It seems like the island went through some kind of disaster. And then there's all this information about Obscura as well, about how it lulls listeners in and then hits them with a wave of synthesizers designed to bring them a sense of an easy calm. It seems like this is how they mind control people. So that's interesting as well. But let's head out guys, let's go to work for the day. As you can see, our room is also getting very full of these notes that we're collecting as we go around the game world. Look at this, there's a classic cartoon on the TV screen. That's kind of creepy. It's kind of cool as well though. So that was one of the cartoons made by Chuck Vanover, who was the son of the original creator. What the heck? Did someone just opened my door? Toe, why are you opening my door, my man? That scared me. I thought that was a monster trying to get in or something. So yeah, this is why we need the keypad generator, so we can actually get into rooms like this, and into Toe's room down here as well. But with that said, come on Toe's, let's head out to work. It's time to get another shift under our belt, and see where the story goes next. So interestingly, it looks like the construction site is still blown open like it was in my last episode. We can still walk inside and explore it. I actually want to see if there's anything I missed here because I feel like there could be like a note or a tape that I've missed. Ooh, look, there's a tape up there. Can I jump up here and climb it? Yes, here we go, a new tape. Let's listen to this. It's advice to pursue extreme caution around acid. Interesting, so there we go. More information about this Grim character who seems to have overseen, you know, everything behind the scenes at this shady facility. That was another tape about PT who we fought in the last episode. And look at all this snow. What the heck? So it sounds like we've got the toaster oven online for cooking the apple pies and cookies. So we're going to have another job to do now. It keeps adding more to our sort of job list. At the moment, guys, if you're wondering what I'm doing, you haven't seen episode one, I'm just resetting the rat traps because one of our daily tasks is to basically walk around and reset all of the rat traps before we start our shift to earn that extra money. So that's what we're going to do. We've got an action figure. That key card reader locking everyone out of the boss's office. 
It's just screaming to be hacked. I don't know. Maybe it's just me. So basically, if we get the keycard reader, we can hack the boss's office. That's our friend from back home talking to us, the little head. And he's saying that if we get the keycard reader, yeah, we can hack into the boss's office, which is good to know. There we go. That's all the rat traps done now. Now we've just got to collect the rubbish up. Look, Petey's moved. He's usually stood over there. He's moved today. Happy's still there. So now we've got the farmer moving and we've got Petey moving. The chicken, I think it's Charlie the chicken and Sammy the salmon still are not moving though. Okay, anyway guys, I think it's time to start up our shift, so let's clock in. There we go, punching in for the day. Now we need to go and turn on the uh, lights to the building. To tell everyone it's open. So here we go, we're open for business. And we're on to shift, I think this is four now, shift four maybe. Right Toes, let's have a good shift. You get cooking, I'm going to get the appliance on for you. Boom, we're on. Get some french fries cooking up first and some salmon nuggets as well. Those in there, those in there. Have we already got a... Yeah, we've already got a customer. Nice. I'll get some soft drinks going, you know, just in case. Okay, what does he want? A cookie, a hot pie, a popping pork sandwich with no tomato and a shake. Okay. So we need a cookie and a pie. So we need popping pork sandwich. We need cookie and we need pie. So first of all, these two in here, one, two, there we go, and then the sandwich can go on the grill. These aren't quite ready yet. Let's get the bag ready. There we go. He wants a shake, so we take that, throw that in there, boom, fries are out. What was that noise? Man, I just heard a loud noise, I don't like that. What the heck was that? The light's gone out. Someone's already messing with us. Oh, we need this off. Oh no, it's burned. Damn it. Okay, let's get another one. Let's get another one. We've messed up a popping pork sandwich. Here you go. Let's try another. He definitely wanted a cookie. And he definitely wanted a hot pie. So that's that. Done. He didn't want tomato. We must remember that. He didn't want tomato. Wait, what the heck? Why is that on the floor? Cook it. It's moving of its own accord. Look at it. It's like it's a real pig. That's what that noise was. It's trying to jump off a grill. That's freaky, man. And there's that crawly thing again. And this game is so weird. Wait, is the pig coming for us or something? Because we're like grilling that. I don't know. Right, that's ready. I don't care. Let's put it on. This game's got too weird. Yay. Okay, good. So that's done. Order up. Here you go, my man. Sorry about that. Okay, next one. Who, who, who have we got next? Shaking a soft drink. Easy. Soft drink's here. So there we go. And just get a shake for you. And while that's cooking, I'm going to get some more stuff, like, in the oven. I'm going to get one of those and one of those. A cookie and a pie. Here we go. Now let's get a shake. And soft drink and shake are done. Order up. Satisfying doing that. And here you go, my man. That's yours done. Right, next one. We're making good money here. Okay. Fantastic fowl sandwich with no lettuce and two fries. Easy. Remember how you fought Petey? Yeah. And found that keycard hacker recipe disc? Mm-hmm. Well, use the fabricator next to me to make that keycard hacker. I know, I know, I know. But I can't yet. So, we need two fries now. One, two. Here we go. One, two. Oh my god, what was that? I don't know what that was. Doesn't want any lettuce, so she wants gherkin, cheese, onion, tomato, and the chicken burger, which is cooked. Boom. Here we go. That's an order done. And here you are. Here's your order. Enjoy. What's next? Cookie, hot pie, hot 
pie. Nice. Well, we've already got two of those made. So, we just need to make another hot pie. Oh no, the lights have gone out. Are the appliances on? I think they are. Okay, so, cookie, hot pie. I'm also going to get some chips and salmon nuggets on in a minute. She wanted two hot pies, right? So, another hot pie. Order up. Here you go. Enjoy. Right, what, what do you like? Cookie and fries. Oh my god, that guy's in. Okay. Cookie. Give me some of those fries. Here we go. Fries. Order up. And... Oh! Our shift's over. We've done it. I could have almost got that order to her as well and we would have got a bit of extra money. We've got like 148 dollars. Or you can have it instead. Oh, that actually gets rid of him. Nice. I didn't realise we could throw something at him to get rid of him. That's good to know. Well done. We've completed our shift toes. We can go. Let's get out of here. Uh, kitchen lights off. Let's clock out. There we go. And I'm just going to get out of here. Now let's have a look what we can get from this vending machine. Ooh, Bobo Cell Battery. I think we needed one of those, right? Is your favourite gadget out of juice? Yeah. So we need to get one of these. There we go. That's one of the items we needed. We needed the glue as well. So there we go. We've now got the glue. Now I just don't know where we get that final, um, that final element from though. We needed like a circuit board. So we're going to have to go and find where we get the circuit board from. But for now, let's say goodbye to our friendly little mascots and uh, let's get out of here. Oh look, the pig's over there. That's really weird. I'm just going to go and say hello to him. Look, he's reaching towards here. Maybe you should go back, man. Oh, he just moved. That's kind of creepy. I'm, I'm getting out, guys. I'm getting out of here. I do not trust that pig at all. Let's go around here and see if we can find any of that stuff that we need. Maybe actually in the steel and cell we could find the circuit board we need because that sells like random items. So let's have a look. They're shaped like crows and ravens. Yeah, it's there's a the circuit awesome. board we need. So how do we buy this? Oh, here we go. Look, we buy it from here. FM transmitter chip. So I just press that and it appears at the counter. We bought it from there. Thank you very much for your uh, patronage. And I think I just heard a really loud noise there, but we'll just ignore that. We also need to find a way to access this museum because this is apparently where we need to head once we've got, you know, our special sort of uh, item built. Okay, here we go. We've arrived back at the apartment. Items in hand. So let's build that keypad generator and, uh, yeah, see if we can hack some of these doors. Right, so. We've got everything we need. Hello, my man. We're back. Your back if you can scratch mine. So, uh, you that's one. First. Two. There you go. One, two, three. We did it. And it's building something. I don't know what. Yes, the keypad generator. Use it on a keypad. It will begin the hacking sequence. Be sure to press the green button, I think it said. Sweet. Can we use this only once or can we use this multiple times? Because if we can use this multiple times, I'm going on a hacking spree, guys, let me tell you. I'm going to try and hack this door. Okay. Oh, I see. I see what we have to do. We have to, like, match up the buttons in the right order. Here we go. Come on, one more, right? Nice. Open. Oh, we can only use one at a time. No way. I should have bought loads of stuff. We could have built, like, multiple stuff. What is this? What the heck is this? Did we just pick up something? Oh, we picked up a backpack. Sweet. I guess we can carry more items with this then, right? Man, what is this place? What does that say on the wall? Don't look at what does it say don't look away yeah don't look away they never came back good man but i fear he's been staring into the darkness for far 
What's that voice? Where's that voice coming from? My name is Dr. Rochelle Luna. Rochelle Luna. I enter the Lucidus Initiative simulations by my own volition. While I told my superiors I wished to test efficacy, I am here to test ethics. Are these simulations humane? We're a simulation. She's talking about us. Report my findings upon extraction. So she was one of the doctors working on these simulations, and we're one of those simulations, or one of those simulation subjects, I should say. Uh, that's it, I think, guys, for this apartment. I think that was all it was. There we go. We're out. Wow, so that was kind of cool. So we've got a backpack now. We found a secret room. We got another burger token to upgrade the restaurant somehow. But yeah, we can only make one of these at a time. Do you know what? In fact, I could go out and I could make more of those now, I think. Yeah, I think what we'll do, guys, is we'll go and buy some more supplies. We'll make more keypad hackers, and then we'll just go on a hacking spree before we start our next shift. So first, we'll go to the shop and steal and buy some more supplies from there. I think we need to get... Um, I think just two circuit boards from here. Here we go. Two of these then. Nice. Another battery. We actually need another battery, so we'll get another one of those. Okay, that's all that we can get from here. Now we need to head back to Happy Symbol Burger Farm for that glue, I think. I don't really want to go back to Happy Symbol Burger Farm, you know, after our shift at this time of night, but we have to. Here we go. This is actually kind of creepy going back to here after hours. Please no one attack me. I'm going to be in and out quickly. Come on, give me that sweet glue. Oh no, my inventory's full. Tell you what, I'll take... Because the glue costs more, I'll take the other glue. It's a shame we can't take that other battery. Okay guys, we're back home. And now, what we're going to do is we're going to build another one of those items. So we need one of those, one of those, and one of those. And here we go, that's another keypad hacker made. So what we're going to do is we're going to pick up this keypad hacker, we're going to go back to Happy Temple Burger Farm because we had to leave that one item there anyway. We're going to hack that door to the boss's office, and then we'll come back and hack the door to Toe's room, like, afterwards. We'll do that last. Right, here we go guys, we're outside Happy Temple Burger Farm once again, and it's time to hack the door to our boss's office. Why are you here, Toes, man? It's not... You should be at home. How are you always at home and then you're here? Doesn't matter. Here we go. Let's hack it. Boom. There we go, that's the second one down. Third one. Fourth. Open. Nice. Ooh. Hey kid, what are you doing in my office? Don't worry. Who told you to go in there? Uh Hello? Don't worry about that either. Oh right, these are one way. Listen. Look at this. Now that's much better. Now you don't have to listen to that guy go on and on and on. Who is he anyways? Probably some crop paid to monitor you. I'll be your new tour guide. Thanks for flying with us. Anyways, if I were you, have we been tricked? I definitely wouldn't press that lever if I were you. Man, now I want to press it. Now I want to find out what it's all about. Look, it says here, obscure technology or biotechnology. Warning, it is a punishable offence to access areas below your clearance level. Please refer to statute 19 of your ongoing papers. This is why all the humans like look the same, the male and female humans look the same in this world, because they're actual just like synthetic designs. Screw it, I'm pressing the lever. I've done it. What is that? Have we gone down a trapdoor? I feel like we have. Oh no, we have, and I've got these items with me still. Got a flashlight out. What is this? <gasps> Look! This is where they make the synthetics. Okay. 
man, what is that? Can I go through here? Yeah, it doesn't seem like it's toxic. This is really creepy. We've got these wires that we have to follow. Where are they leading us? Oh no! The cow's down here. Can I go through this? How do I get through here, guys? There's like a disc there that I need. Man, I'm really scared. Why is that cow dead? That's like a version of happy. How do we get through this? Maybe I need like a brick or something to throw at that. I hope something isn't down here in the vents. This is really creeping me out. Like this is horrible. I'll follow it this way. I don't know if I should, but I'll follow it this way. That looks hot. What's through here? Oh, okay. That's done something. Oh, that's probably open. That's probably stop. Oh my god. That's probably stopped the fan. I was gonna say. And then that thing got us. That wasn't pleasant. Guys, we've got a way down there we haven't gone yet, so if anything starts chasing us, I'm going down there. Although I suppose we can probably get back out, right? We know the way back out. Please don't come to life happy. Please don't come to life happy. Please don't come to life happy. Burger bomb. The schematic for crafting the burger bomb, yes. What's this? Customers have become much more advanced since I left barn and got thrown into the diner. Less creepy looking too. I managed to capture one of them, power it down and remove his head before tossing all his limbs in that spooky parking garage. I've been hacking into the head back at my motel, off shift. And believe it or not, he came to life. Oh, this is the guy before us that's yeah, that created the head. He never shuts up and I'd rather Joe bombs, but Vic. Vic is my only friend. So the head is called Vic. This virtual intelligent cybernetic isn't just someone to talk to, though. He's gonna be my ticket out of here. <laughs> He's gonna be my ticket out of here. So that's the guy that's preceded us. That's the guy before us, and Vic is the head, the virtual reality head. Look, we've got another tape here as well. And a production line of synthetics. Wow, this is really cool. Okay, let's take the tape. There we go, that's some more information about those uh, synthetics. So guys, I think we have to get out of here now. We've got the schematic, we've got what we came for. Let's head back out. That was really cool. I didn't expect all of that to be down there. But maybe you should head to the museum. Could have some answers for you. Who knows? Get away from toes, you creep. Alright, he said head to the museum. There might be some answers there. So that's our next objective, heading to that museum. So let's get going, guys, and head over to the museum next. Okay, so we're heading over to the museum, which is just here. I might go back to the apartment and see how we build that bomb that we need to uh, to put together as well, because I'm guessing we might need the bomb to get into the museum. We have been told to go and check it out, though. I don't know how we get inside. Yeah, there's no way into the museum at the moment, so I'm not sure how we're actually meant to enter that. It might be another case where we have to wait until something in the story happens where, you know, the wall gets blown open again, kind of like with the other place. So for now, I think we're going to head back. We're going to see what that bomb schematic is, like what we'll need to build it. And then we will, from there, go and probably do another shift at work, I think, because our next objective is go to sleep. So let's go back home and see what happens next. Right, here we go, we're back. Time to generate that final keycard generator. There we go, the last item. I don't trust you anymore, man. You've taken over from that other guy and I don't know if that's a good thing or not. Either way, we can now hack 
Toe's room, so let's go, guys. Let's go and hack Toe's room. Hopefully he doesn't mind. Here we go. First number. Second number. Third. And fourth. Man, I'm scared of what we're going to find in here. You know, I think it's going to be a bit messy. What the heck? Look, the original mascots. Like, the original designs. He loves... He's like the number one poster boy for this place. He loves, like, Happy Tumble Burger Farm and all the mascots. <laughs> Hello, my name is Theodore Oliver Emerson, but my family calls me Theo, and my friends, they all call me Toe. I've wanted to escape that nickname since childhood, and I finally did when I got here, but now, now I'd give anything to hear them call me Toe one last time. So that's his real name. We found out more about Toe. That's really strange. I need to listen to that tape again. I was kind of pulled away from it by this cartoon, the Farmyard Festivities. Charlie, the We've got like an actual cartoon on here. Charlie, That's really cool. Chicken was yet another early barnyard bud that became a mainstay of the Yeah, this is all the information we talked about Charlie in the previous episode. Zen personality. Some I don't know if I'm going to include all this in the video, guys, because we actually went through this in the previous video, but it's really cool. Charlie, and as you can see, you know, he's got all of these cutouts of the classic characters in his house. What else has he got? Some fries. They'll be very cold at this point. Yeah, he's just got posters and art from all the different eras of the sort of happy franchise. Of a Barnyard Buds franchise, I should say. Look at this stuff. What is this? I just drank that. I don't know if I should have. Wow, that's like beer, I think. I don't know if I should have drank that. We've kind of, uh, we're tripping out now. He's got all the action figures. What is this? I don't know what that is that I just picked up, but I got an achievement called Spoiler Alert. That's weird. What else is in his apartment, I wonder? Ooh, a token. And more memorabilia. This is like a serial killer's house. <laughs> it's just too much, you know? Well, I guess it's not. It's just cartoons, isn't it, that he likes? Let's not be too harsh on him, but, you know, he could keep the place a bit tidier. Wait, is he asleep on the bed? How has he got in here? He was outside before we entered the apartment. Did he just, like, sneak in while we were drinking his beers? But yeah, look at this place, guys. It's mad. It's got, like, all of these different, like, pictures on the walls, different volumes of the happy, humble characters. Lord of the Onion rings there. I don't think that we can do anything more in this place, though. There's a toilet as well. He's actually got the sign here that he's taken home for Happy Tumble Burger Farm. Guys, I'm getting out of here for now. I think uh, there's no more stuff that we can find right now. So... You know, that's kind of how I'm feeling right about now. So we'll get out of here. Let's go in here and let's see. First of all, we picked up some more notes. We picked up this one. We also got this one. It says, everything really fell apart. All those rumors were true. Someone bombed the island. Probably a suitcase nuke. So many people died. Interesting. Okay. And we got this as well. What's this? The Lucidus Initiative. Welcome to the Lucidus Initiative. In this bold new venture, Obscura has elected to push the limits of cognitive altering technology. Goals, worker obedience, societal complacency, cultural stagnancy, corporate monopoly on innovation, and free thought upgraded to taxed thought. So you basically want to control the workers of a world so that corporations can basically rule the world, which is uh, pretty dark. I see you looking at me. Burger Bomb. This is our new schematic. These patties are explosive, seriously. There's tons of them and they make a great source of explosive. So for this we need a stupid clock, it says, perfect timing mechanism, and a battery. It also says these are tricky, once they're armed they explode. Find Burger Bomb symbols. We've already found a number of these. So we basically just need to get a patty from Burger Farm, alarm clock, and batteries. We could probably do that right now. Guys, do you reckon we should do some more investigating before we go and do another shift? I reckon we should. So, I think what I'm going to do is I'm not going to go to sleep. We've got $93 still. I'm going to head back out once again. And we're going to get up to even more shenanigans by night as we try and figure out how to build some of these bombs. First stop is going to be at the steel and cell. We're going to get from there the alarm clock and batteries. And we're also going to get some patties at the burger joints. Here we go. Right. 
So, we need to find the alarm clock. Yes, Barnyard Bird's clock. It's $30. Wow. Can't buy too many of those then. I'm going to buy two of them. Can we put items in our backpack? Yes, we can put items in our backpack. So I've put those both in our backpack. Now we also need batteries. So where are the batteries? Here we go. So we'll get two of those. And then we're going to get two patties. We'll put them all together. We'll make a couple of these bombs. And then we'll put one bomb in the Happy Temple Burger Farm freezer area and one in the graveyard. Here we go. Still got toes on the grill, even though it's probably like midnight. Okay, so we need some patties. I guess just regular Happy's Deluxe will do, only the finest for our, uh, for our bomb that we're making. So we've got everything we need now, guys. I think we'll just head back and we'll build these burger bombs and see if we can access some of these secret areas. So it says we need the battery, the clock, and the patty. So one of those, one of those, another clock. Here we go. That's going to hopefully build one of these uh, burger bombs that we wanted. And it has. It's explosive. Be careful. Nice. There we go. We'll make another one. Nice. We've made two. So first I'm going to head to the graveyard and try that crypt that had the uh, bomb sign on it. And then we'll head over to Happy Tumble Burger Farm secondly. Yeah, here we go. Look, I can see it. This is where we want to put one of the bombs. Oh, there we go. We've activated it. Yeah, we drop it on there. Boom. Nice, it worked. So here goes nothing. Let's go down into the crypt. Oh my god, it's dark. All right, I've turned the flashlight on. But this doesn't feel good. This feels very dangerous. Oh, look, there's a furnace. What's the point of this then? I, I don't fully understand. Do we need to put something in the furnace? This must come in useful like down the line. There could be like an item I guess that we need to put in there like something with a key inside it and then we get the key out the shoes or something. But yeah we have access to a furnace now guys that's all that this was. So fair enough I guess we uh, we should probably get out of here. It's also ominously quiet in here, so uh, we're going to head back upstairs. Okay, here goes nothing. It's time to use the second bomb in this room over here. So let's open that up, set the bomb going, throw it down, and boom. Oh, that actually hurt us. Right, can we go down here now? We can. Wow, we're underwater. This is kind of creepy. Don't know if I want to be in here. Man, I hate underwater bits in games. This is really bad for me. What is that? What is that? Oh, can we drain it? Don't know if we can drain it. Yeah, we have. We, we started to drain it. Nice. Man, I don't know if this was a good idea. This is like... Wait, this is like an old restaurant buried under the new one. Is this like the original site? Is I, I don't know what that says. I think this is the original burger farm. And it was built over, like the new one was built on top of it. That's crazy. Oh! I don't like the sound of that. Guys, I'm going inside. Is there anything in here? Surely there's gotta be, right? I just hope there's no monsters down here. Oh! There's a note. What does that say? No one has been down here in a long time. There's got to be something else down here. Look, there's another note. It says, I can't keep working the same shift over and over and over and over and over. I'm going to flood the place. It's the only way out. Wow. Okay. So they flooded this place and then it was built over with the new restaurant. Oh, no. I'm going to explode it. Okay, I didn't mean to explode that, but maybe I was meant to, I don't know. It looks like we can crawl through there. This is really creepy. This is horrible. We're gonna get out of here. 
Just uh, relax. Man, I don't like this. I have claustrophobia. There's another tape. It's from Toe. Toe's journal. Spelt wrong. Wait, it's Toe E7. The one they used to keep in the Burkhardt <gasps> Toe is E7. The tech in HHBB was too effective and the, the hypnosis was too strong. It made me nauseous. Everything was all warped looking and jittery. After the big explosion knocked the simulations off the grid, I managed to break out of there. But Paragon captured me and moved me here to Happy Burger. I, I, I think this diner simulation stage is much older than Barn. The hypnosis is so much weaker. I've started to remember who I am again. Still haven't gone to the museum, huh? You should go there for the Happy the Humble Heifer exhibit. Find out some of the creepy history of your corporate overlords. They sure do milk that franchise. <laughs> am I right? Right, let's go, guys. He keeps saying about this museum, but we just found out that Toe was E7. He was the guy that preceded us, and he's saying this new simulation is a lot weaker than the old one used to be. Right, well, that's everything we can currently do, so I'm going to head back, guys, to our apartment. We're going to go to sleep, and we're going to do the next shift at work, because I think we need to get to the museum as our next objective, but it's not currently open, so I think we probably need to finish a few more shifts at work and then we'll be able to access the museum afterwards. So let's get our head down, get some sleep, and I'll see you guys in the morning. So we've woken up, it's shift number five. Before we go for our shift, I'm gonna take a shower because that replenishes our health. There we go. Nice, getting nice and clean. It's about time after all that exploring in those sort of dirty underground places. Now we can go to work all clean and showered and enjoy our day. I'm going to take the bus as well. Because why not, you know, we might as well take the bus for once. I haven't done it yet. I want to show you in the playthrough in case it's interesting in any way. Well, that was bad timing. We just got spawned into an enemy straight away. I don't know about that. I'm pretty slow. So we had another worker, apparently. Man, this game keeps throwing more information at me. I'm going to be absolutely terrible at these day-to-day -day tasks by the end of the game. I also wonder if there's any way down into this, like, manor hole. Surely there must be at some point. So I'm going to get the daily delivery in to start with. There we go. Put more down. Oh, no, that creepy thing. Closing the door. There we go. Done. No! Leave us alone. The lights are on. I hate that running... Little creepy running around thing. Wait, what the heck? I'll help you fast, happy old pal. Could I click on him before? Why is the pig there as well? Yeah, I... I can click on him now and he, he speaks to me. Now come on, buds. Giving up isn't in our nature. I didn't know we could click on these things and they would speak. Will you survive this dark and dreary night? Where shadow hath turned into a sea, an ocean of regret, in which you now drown? Uh please don't say stuff like that to me again. That's creepy. Yeah, I don't know why the pig is stuck in the wall there, but let's not try and uh, dwell on that. I'm going to clock into our shift. We're going to start. I'm going to turn the open sign on. Ah, that thing. That creepy ass thing. I hate it. We're open for business. Let's start the day. Let's do this right. Come on, Toe. Let's have a, a good day. Appliances are on. Let's get some chips or fries, I guess, and salmon nugs cooking. So here we go. One, two. Got our first customer of the day coming. So 
So we'll get sh sort of a soft drink ready. Get this ready. I'm also going to put in a cookie and an apple pie. Here we go. I think we can only cook two at a time, so we'll just do that. He wants salmon nuggets, shake, and soft drink. Which is lucky, because we've already got those ready. So there is your soft drink. There is your shake. Oh, there's a fire on the grill. Uh, turn off the uh, grill. How do we how do we put out a fire? There, I think we solved it. Okay, put it back on. Oh no, these are gonna burn. Whoa, what the heck was that? What did he want again? Salmon nuggets. That running guy, I hate that thing. Right, I think this should be it now. I think it should be done. Order up. Here you go, man. We had a fire to contend with now, that's crazy. It's quite a slow day today. I'm glad, because we've had all these problems in the kitchen already. Okay, what do you want? What would you like, sorry. <laughs> shake and a soft drink, sweet. Okay, shake, there we go, that's prepared, or getting prepared, and a soft drink. Wait, why is there a fire again? What the heck? We have to turn off the appliances. So you haven't been watching this grill very well. Why are you just standing by when there's like a fire there? My god, man, get it under control. There we go, we've got a shake now. Let's bag that up. That should be the order about ready, I think. Done. Soft drink. Done. Order up. And here you go. Enjoy. What is that? Why has it gone black and white? I don't know why that just happened. He wants two shakes. Wait, what's that? Is there something? Okay, I think we're good. I think we're good. I think we're good. I'm just stressing for no reason. Sorry, there's not much for you to do right now uh, on that grill, man. Okay, so that's shake number one. Find and dispose of the live rat in the restaurant. Uh, okay, let me find it. Where is the live rat in the restaurant? I hear it, I hear it. Here it is. Killed it, sorry rat. Okay, dispose of it. Two shakes it was, wasn't it? Yep, there we go, that's the second shake then. Boom. Order up, nice. Why the lights out? Let me put the lights back on. Okay, what have we got next? Fries and a soft drink, easy. Not even breaking a sweat with that. Here's our fries. Soft drink should be ready in a set. Ding ding. Here you go. Lovely. Right, next. What would you like? Fries, fries, salmon nuggets, easy. Fries, fries, salmon nuggets, here we go. Oh, okay, let me just finish this order and then we'll sort out that. What's this? The toilet is flooded, plunge it, okay. Don't go in there, man. There we go, we sorted it out. Wow, I just saw Happy glitching about as well then. Happy just glitched into the middle of a restaurant. Two hot pies next, easy. We've already got one made up, so that's one hot pie in there. Another hot pie in. Boom. I'll also put some more chips and salmon nuggets on. I keep calling them chips. In the UK we call them chips. In America you'll call them fries. I'll also get some shakes and soft drinks ready in the meantime. There we go. Second hot pie. Done. Order up. Nice. This is going well. I'm getting the hang of this game. Apart from all the creepy things that keep trying to kill us. You know, I never get used to those. So soft drink in there, we've got another infraction, what's this, take out the trash near the back door, okay let's do that quickly. Where is the trash near the back door, oh here, can I pick it all up at once, yeah I can, oh nice, that actually makes it a lot easier. Okay now just put them in the bin, one, two, three, four, come on get in there, done, nice. Okay we need another soft drink. Sorry guys, my commentary is going to be awful. All the appliances have turned off. 
45 seconds to get her order. We need salmon nuggets. Still haven't gone to the museum, huh? <laughs> you should go there for the Happy the Humble Heifer exhibit. Find out some of the creepy history of your corporate overlords. They sure do milk that franchise. <laughs> Am I right? Oh no, we almost got her order finished. That's so close. We almost finished. But unfortunately, guys, our time just ran out and we finished our shift. What's this as well? Situational order form. Upgrade tokens. Ah, oh, this is where we upgrade. Grill upgrade. Nice. Oven upgrade. Oh, additional order time. That sounds good. Additional event time. <coughs> nice. I'm going to get that additional order time. Hmm. Do we want grill upgrade? I guess so. <coughs> let's do a drink upgrade. And let's do an oven upgrade. <coughs> there we go. We've upgraded loads of stuff. Right. I'm going to head to the museum next then. And uh, we'll see if we can actually get inside it. I honestly don't think we can get inside this museum yet. I think we have to do more shifts at work and then an event will occur so that we can gain access to it. Kind of like accessing the construction site earlier. I think it just has to happen after a certain amount of shifts at work have been completed. So I think the game thinks we're further ahead than we are. So I'm just going to actually do another shift at work and see if you know we can finally trigger something. Look, we've got two posters in our home now as well. It says, be happy, be silly. We seem to be getting more of those. Let's go and check on this guy and see what he says. Well, let's start from the beginning. It all started when I was nothing but a processor and a motherboard. <laughs> a couple of nuts and bolts and... Yeah, who am I kidding? Nobody actually cares where I came from or how I was made. Alright. Have it your way. Don't give us any extra lore. Right, I'm just going to go to bed, guys. I think we've had a hard day and it's time to retire to bed, so let's hit the hay. <laughs> Alright guys, well that's actually where I'm going to end it for today's video. I did keep recording for like another hour and a half or so, and I was originally going to edit it into one big video, but the more I sort of looked at the edit, it was just getting out of control. It's going to be like a super long video, and I'd rather split it up into smaller parts, I think. This video's already been around 50 minutes long, so it's uh, long enough as it is. The next video is going to contain another boss fight and some really, really cool revelations about the game, so you'll want to stay tuned for that one, but I hope you are enjoying this game. I'm really loving it and uh, if you are remember to leave me a like on the video comment down below and of course subscribe for more videos just like this one and I'll see you for Happy Tumble Burger Farm part 3 very soon.